And I've already gone on my walk and I'm ending it now. And God's been talking to me about the crown of thorns that he wore on his head. The crown of thorns that he wore on his head is a representative of the curse of the earth. Uh, because if you look at uh, Mark 4, I think it's Mark, um, where they talk about the sower sows the world, uh, the word, um, the seeds that were on thorny ground were the seeds that the cares of this world overtook the person. So cares of the world represent the curse and the cursor, which is Satan, uh, he's ruler of the world and caused this big mess that's here now. Um, so that's the curse. And Jesus said that we're to cast his, our cares on him because he cares for us. And the crown of thorns is representing um, the curse and the cursor and also Satan's kingdom. And Satan does have a kingdom because uh, Jesus was tempted uh, to receive that kingdom instead of uh, paying the price of blood, uh, his blood, and and uh, and uh, getting our salvation, uh, because that was one of the temptations of Jesus uh, when when he was out in the wilderness being tempted. So, the crown of thorns that Jesus took on his head was representative of the curse and the cursor, and the kingdom of Satan, and that Jesus took all that, all the cares of us. And we're not to look for the world to answer all of our needs, but we're to look to the kingdom of God. And when we look to the kingdom of God, whew, then we have all our needs met. Because uh, the word says that, um, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added to you. And it's talking about things. So, the uh, kingdom of God is uh, supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Okay, and to finish up that revelation is, look, take a look at Galatians 3, uh, 3, 318, 313 or 318. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessings of Abraham will come upon us and the promise of the Holy Spirit. So you have the blessings of Abraham, which are physical, financial uh, promises. Um, and then you have the Holy Spirit, which lives in you and empowers you to live the God kind of life, to have the God kind of power and love in you. Um, so... Uh, you have the best of everything. So that's my revelation. Live in the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of the world. And I will talk to you tomorrow. And look for a special Easter in an eggshell um, video, video clip that I'm going to do for Easter. And my name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.